until you show, nobody believes. And so. <laughs> Uh, so you know this one, those of you who are psychologists know this one uh, very well. It's a famous one by Roger Shepard. Um, on perspective, these two table surfaces are exactly the same in shape and size. Uh, they will not appear that way to you at all. So I've used this device in part to shake people's beliefs in what they think is true because these so truly don't look to be the same. So I'm just going to turn this off while I put up a transparency with the same pictures. There we go. And here you go. Ready? There we go. For the skeptics, one more time. <laughs> all right. No magic at all. Your retina sees accurately, but when the information goes up to the 50th floor, it gets interpreted. There are two points that I want to make that those of you who are in the physical sciences know the importance of devices. Okay? Uh, at least Bertolt Brecht's Galileo says, I'm going to shove their face in front of it and they're going to have to believe. And he was right in the sense that, yes, having an instrument makes an enormous difference, uh, but not entirely. Right? It took the Vatican a good 350 years to, to, to agree. Any knowledge or understanding of the illusion we may gain, Roger Shepard says, uh, remains virtually powerless to diminish the magnitude of the illusion. Okay? So knowing this, okay, I've just shown it to you, you know it, but when it pops back up again, uh, this is something that we have to be aware of. Okay? Here's, yeah, so, so many of you are kind of going into yoga poses to do this, and yes, uh, that, will, that will help, but, but not really. Um, and, and so the point that I want to make is w with this is that yeah, the, the, for people like me who are not interested in visual perception of objects, I've often used this to motivate a discussion about social perception because like discussions of religion, uh, when you tell somebody that they have a bug in their head, um, they're going to deny it and reasonably so. There's nothing that tells them that they're wrong. When you look at these two, you know. When you look at it, you know, you know they're not the same. Okay? But when you go home today and somebody in your family says to you, look, dad, look, mom, you know, here are, you know, two tables and they're the same, your answer is going to be yes, they are. They may not look the same to you, but your mind has been changed. And this is, again, I would say if there is uh, a hope I hold for why it is that science can teach in a certain way that's compelling, it is about things like this. That once we know, even though the world may not appear that way, that we will know and we will say the right thing um, at the end of, uh, end of it. All right, but the reason I use it is because I believe that social perception operates in much the same way. We can look at two human beings doing exactly the same thing, but knowledge about the culture they come from or their height or their weight, their accent, uh, their whatever it might be, their ethnicity, their gender, leads us to see them to be different. And that illusion is just as powerful as this one because they will appear to us to be doing different things even when they're doing the same. Okay? This is a picture that made the rounds after Hurricane Katrina. Both depict exactly the same event. This person and these people went into a grocery store, stole stuff, and left. Okay? Uh, what became of interest, of course, was uh, what the journalist wrote about each of these. In this case, this event was depicted as a young man walking through chest deep water after having looted a grocery store. This one reported the two residents having waded through water and finding bread. Okay? Um, so the use of, of the word loot versus find is very interesting because there's surely a more neutral intermediary word that could have been used, and that was take. Okay? So I think of looting as more negative than taking, and I think of finding as more positive than, than, uh, than taking. And, in both cases, and, and I think what's going on here is something that has to do with where we sit. These journalists, I think, and I even, might feel that I look more like these people. Uh, look at them, you know, they're so nice. They even put their stolen stuff into nice backpacks. Look at them, they're, they're like us. They, they're, they're educated people. They even stole a newspaper, look. Okay. Okay. I'm quite sure that these people are not racist in any sort of standard sense of that word. Okay. But there is something that welled up in them that made them see one act as an act of looting and the other as an act of finding. Yo.